When MX-18 was released, I downloaded the ISO file from the MX Linux website, and I'm using MX-18 now, but I'm not using an installation from that ISO file. I'm using the version that automatically migrated from MX-17.1, which I was already using. Now, this happened automatically. I didn't have to do anything at all to upgrade to MX-18. And it's my perception that it happened incrementally. In other words, it wasn't just one big update. It was several minor updates. For instance, before anything else happened, GIMP changed from version 2.08 to version 2.10. Now, the only thing that was a little bit unusual there is that when I launched it originally from the menu, graphics, GNU image manipulation program, it launched all right. But when I tried to use this launcher that I have in the panel up here, it originally did not work. It was looking for version 2.08 and couldn't find it. So what I had to do was take that launcher off the panel and install a new launcher to get it to point to version 2.10. Otherwise, I hardly noticed anything about the migration. As a matter of fact, I missed it at first because I was looking for version 4.19 of the Linux kernel to appear. I had read that version 18 came with Linux kernel 4.19. But if I use quick system info here, you can see that I'm using MX18, but I'm still using Linux kernel 4.15. So the upgrade actually slipped in without my notice. Now this is all explained very easily if you go to the MX community website and you look under migration. And it says update will be automatic through the normal update process. And then it says optional steps. And the first one is the new 4.19 kernel will not be installed automatically. If you want the kernel, there is an entry under MX Package Installer, Popular Apps, Kernel 4.19. So I'm going to look under MX Tools, MX Package Installer. I haven't done this yet, so I have to enter my password. So this is popular applications, kernels. And here's Antix 4.19. 64-bit. So I'm going to install that now. Check the box, click on install. Now it says processing finished successfully, so I'm going to click on OK. I must say this took a long time and seemed to be going around in circles, but it seems to be finished. Now it says I have four new updates available. So let me click on those. All upgrade. I'm going to upgrade.
I can press any key. Now let me see what happens when I go to Quick System Info. I'm still using Linux kernel 4.15, so maybe I have to restart. So I restarted and I understand that I'm now using kernel 4.19, but just to double check, quick system info. Yes, this is kernel 4.19 and of course MX18. So let's see what else they say about migration. The new artwork will not be installed automatically. If you want the new artwork installed from the MX package installer, popular apps, wallpapers, MX18 wallpapers. All right. MX Tools, MX Package Installer. I restarted, so I have to enter my password again. Now under Popular Applications, Wallpapers. I see they go all the way back to MX15. I'm going to check MX18 wallpapers. Click on install. Processing finished successfully. Okay. I'm going to leave that open a minute. If I right click on the desktop and go to desktop settings, under background, these should be the new wallpapers. If I can get this out of the way and give you a little glimpse. This is the one I'm using now, it's still supported. Some of these are new and some of them are old, but there's quite a few wallpapers. Now let me go back and find the one I'm using. All right. So that's wallpapers. Now let's see what else there is. There are new grub teams available on the MX18 ISO 
although they are not used by default, I don't want to try any group themes. The Thunar custom actions have been redone for MX-18. If you want the new actions, use the Reset Thunar custom actions tool and the config options tab of MX Tweet. All right, let's try that. Where am I going to find MX Tweet? All right, here's config options. And I'm going to click on Reset Tuner Custom Right-Click Actions to System Defaults. I gather those are the new system defaults. Close. Now, what else? The Light DM login screen has been updated. If you would like the new theme, use Reset Light DM tool on the Config Options tab. I'm not going to do that. I don't really care much about that. There are some new conkeys and others have been revised. Well, I'm not going to do anything with that now. I don't use a conky. The default backgrounds for Grub and Splash are new. Use MX boot options to select those with the word loom. Actually, I like to keep my grub simple without background, so I'm not going to do that. So that's basically it. I'm updated. Now, there's only one question I have. There were some error messages while it was upgrading to kernel 4.19. It said something about the virtual box guest editions not being installed. So I'm going to see if I can open this. Fedora 29 XFCE. I'm going to start Fedora. Well, it seems to be running at full screen, so I gather that, that those are working. So that seems to be working. I'm going to quit that. Shut down. I'm sure. Now, I just want to mention something else. It doesn't really have anything to do with the update, but it has to do with my experience with one of the applications. I mentioned in a past video that the default PDF viewer, QPDF view, which is a cute based application that I first experienced when I was using Seduction LX Qt several months or about a year ago, I mentioned that QPDF view did not work very well, did not open some PDF files. And I just had a little experience with that when I was trying to view my credit card statement and tried to open it with QPDF view. Now here I'm going to blur the image, if you don't mind, because I don't want to share all of my credit card information to the entire YouTube community. So I'm going to open my latest credit card statement with QPDF view. So 
some of the pages are completely blank. I installed another PDF viewer, Events, or what used to be called Events anyway, from the MX Package Installer. So now let me show you the same statement in that. Open with Document Viewer, as it's now called. And now you see there's a lot more information. So I suggest installing the GNOME Document Viewer, or if you want to install Adobe Reader, you can do that too. So that's just a little bit of my experience with MX 17.1 and MX 18, as they upgraded seamlessly from one to the other. This is XRAM Tech. Thanks for watching.